Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to publish WordPress post on Blogger. I want that whenever I will create and publish a new post on my WordPress account, automatically the same post should also be published on my Google Blogger account. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate both these applications and that we are going to do with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. Now what we are going to do, we have WordPress in our trigger and Google Blogger in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new post will be created and published on WordPress account, automatically the same post will also be published on Google Blogger account. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how can we automatically publish our WordPress post to Google Blogger. So here you can find that as I have published this post here in WordPress, automatically it is also published on my Google Blogger account. So let's start learning this automation step by step. In order to create it, first we will have to integrate WordPress with Google Blogger and that I am going to do with the help of an amazing automation software, Pabli Connect. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach on this homepage here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. And also when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software. Because I am already an existing user, therefore I am clicking on sign in. And this is the all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. On this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And also we can create multiple folders here in order to save our workflows. So as you can find, I have two folders over here. In this test integration folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner, you can create your workflows and save them in your folders accordingly. Now, in order to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's click on it and a dialog box is appear in front of us. So it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So let us first of all provide a name here. Publish WordPress post on Google Blogger automatically. So I have given the name to my workflow. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save this workflow. So here from the drop down, I'm going to select this test integrations folder as I want to save the same workflow in this test integrations folder. Okay, we will click on create. And as we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the two main principles on which the entire automation rests. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow the same command. Let's say here we are going to take WordPress in our trigger and Google Blogger in our action. So whenever a new post will be created, created and published in WordPress account, automatically the same post will also be created and published in Blogger. Automatically the same post will also be published on our Google Blogger account. Okay, so here we can find that the action is the response towards our trigger. Now let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select the trigger application and that is WordPress. So let's select WordPress here. And now we will select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So here we are going to select new post published as our trigger event as we want that whenever a new post will be published in WordPress account, automatically this workflow should get trigger. Okay, here we can find that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions that we have to follow in order to connect our WordPress account with Pabli Connect. So let me tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. First of all, we will copy this webhook URL and then I'm going to take you to my WordPress account. So this is the dashboard of my WordPress account. Now here from the left side, we have to go towards settings. And under that, we can find the option of WP Webhooks, that is WordPress Webhooks. So let's select that. And after coming here, we have to go towards send data. As we have clicked on send data, here we can find several options. Now we will search for the option which we have selected in Pabli Connect. Here we have selected new post publish. So what we are going to do, we will simply select the option of post created over here. Okay. As we have selected the option of post created, here we can find that different webhooks are already set up over here. So in order to create and set up a new webhook, we will have to click on this add webhook URL button. And as we have clicked on it here, it is asking us for the webhook name and the webhook URL. So first of all, let us provide the name to this webhook. Here, let us say I'm going to provide the name as new post. Okay, a random name. And now in the field of webhook URL, we just have to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. 
done click on add for post create and with this, we can find that our webhook is set up. So this is the webhook at last, which we have recently created. Now we will click on this three dots and here we can find the option of settings. Let's go on setting. Now what we are supposed to do here, we can find the option of trigger on selected post types. In this, we have to select post. And now the next option is for trigger on initial post status change. In this, we will select publish. So why we are selecting these two options we, because we want that as soon as a new post will be created here in WordPress, this webhook should get trigger. And after that, the status of that post should get changed into publish. Okay. So here after selecting both the options as post and publish, we will move further and we will simply click on save settings. So our settings are saved. Let's go back on Pabli Connect and here we can find that it is showing waiting for webhook response. So here what we are supposed to do, we will have to do a test submission by creating a new post in WordPress account so that the response of that post should be captured here in Pabli Connect. So once again, let me take you to my WordPress account and let me cross this. And now we are going to go towards the post section. So this is the post section and here we will select add new. So because we want to create a new post here, we have selected the option of add new. And now here we are going to create a new post by adding a title and the description of that post. So first of all, let me add the title of the post. Let's say benefits of social media marketing. So this is the title which I want to use in the post. So here because I want to add an image along with this post, I am going to click on this add media button. And now I'm going to select the media. So I will click on upload files. And here I'm going to select an image. So I have selected the image. Now we will click on insert into post. So with this, our image is inserted inside the post with the HTML tags. So basically in order to create a new post in WordPress, we have to use HTML tags, especially for the images. So here, because we want to attach an image along with this post, the HTML tag is already added over here along with the image URL. Now after this, I'm going to enter the content for the post on benefits of social media marketing. Here is my content. So this is the content which I want to use, just a random content. And now with this, we have created the post. So before making this post publish, let's click on preview to preview this post once. And this is our post benefits on social media marketing, the title, the image and the content which we wanted to use. OK, so our post is fine. So we will publish it. OK, let's click on publish button and our post is published. So let's go back on Fably Connect. And here we can find that as soon as we have published the post in WordPress, automatically the response of that post is received over here. Now, after receiving the response, what is our next motive? Our motive is to send the same post basically to publish the same post in our Google Blogger account. OK, so what we are going to do, we will move towards our action step and in our action application, we will select Google Blogger. And in the action event, we will select create a post as we want to create a new post in Google Blogger by using the same response which we have received from WordPress. OK, click on connect. And from the given options, I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with Google Blogger account. Let's click on sign in with Google. And here we have to select the account. After selecting the account, Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Google Blogger account as it is 100% safe. So let's click on continue. And with this, our authorization has become successful. Since I was already logged into my Google Blogger account, automatically the authorization has become successful. And with this, our Google Blogger account is connected with Pabli Connect. So we will move further and here we will enter the details in these fields in order to create a new post in Google Blogger account. First of all, it is asking us for the blog ID. So let me take you to my Google Blogger account. And this is my blog ID named as my blog. So I'm going to use the same ID here in Pabli Connect, which is already selected. Okay. Now the next it is asking us for the post title. So here we have to enter the title of the post which we want to create. So in Google Blogger, we want to publish the same post which we have recently created in WordPress. In the response of WordPress, we have received the details of that post. So we are going to use the same details over here in order to map the data. So mapping is inserting the data from our previous step. We will simply select our previous step like this. And here are all the details. So whatever data we want, we can either scroll down to search that or we can even search it in the search bar. So here we want the title of the post we will search for the title and it has redirected us towards the title of the post. So this is our title benefits of social media marketing. We will simply select it and it is mapped because we have mapped this title automatically whenever a new post will be created in WordPress and the response of that post will captured here in Pabli Connect. 
this title is going to be replaced with a new title of that new post. But if we will enter it manually, then it will become static and it is not going to change with each and every response. Therefore, in order to automate the entire process, we use mapping so that we do not have to change the data manually again and again, but it will be changed automatically. Okay, now after mapping the title, the next it is asking us for the content. What content we want to use in our post. So here we have also received the content from WordPress response. We will search for the content. And here we can find that it has redirected us towards the content of the post. Let's select it. It contains the image which we have used along with the HTML tag and also the content which we have entered. Okay. So after mapping the content, let's move further. And the next it is asking us if we want to keep the status of this post as draft or live. So I want to keep the status as live. So I have selected live here. Next it is asking us is the post draft. So we will select it as no because we have selected the status as live. Okay. The next is date published labels, location name, location latitude, location longitude, location span, etc. So because I do not want to enter all these details, I am ignoring these fields. If you want, you can definitely add them. Okay. Now we will simply click on save and send test request. And we can find that we have received the response. Along with the response, we have also received the ID of the post which is recently created. So let's go and check on our Google Blogger account. And here after coming, let's refresh this page once. And yes, we can find that automatically a new post is created over here with the same title of benefits of social media marketing. Let us open it. And yes, we can find that the post is as it is same which we have created in WordPress. The same image, the same content and the same title. So because the post is published over here, that means our workflow is perfectly successful. So let's do one thing. Let's check this workflow once again with a live example. I am going to create a new post here in my WordPress account and we will see that automatically without any manual efforts, the same post will also be published here in Google Blogger account. So let's go back on WordPress account and here we will again go on post section and we will click on add new. And here I'm going to enter a title of the post. Let's say the power of influencer marketing and here I'm going to add an image. I will click on insert into post and now I'm going to enter the content. Okay, so this is the content which I want to use. So we have created this post. Let's click on preview and the post is fine. Let's go back and we will publish this post. And as the post is published, let's go back on our Google Blogger account and we will refresh this page once. And we can find that yes, automatically without any efforts, a new post is created over here. That is the same post which we have recently created in WordPress. Okay, so this is the post, the same post which we have published recently on WordPress. And here is the same content. So this means that our workflow is perfectly successful and correct. Let's go back on Tabli Connect and we will summarize what we have done in this workflow. We have taken two simple steps here, trigger and action. In trigger, we have taken WordPress and in action, we have taken Google Blogger. And we have connected both of them by using Tabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a new post will be published in our WordPress account, automatically the same post will also be published on our Google Blogger account. And these are the steps which we have to follow in order to create this integration between these two applications by using Tabli Connect. So in the same manner, you can create this automation very easily. And this will enable you to automatically sync your post between WordPress and Google Blogger so that as soon as you will create a new post on WordPress, automatically it will also get published on your Google Blogger account. Okay, so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pabli Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.